So does design really matter? The answer is yes. And here's a little story that actually happened to be the day that proves it. So I was driving to Panera and then I look down and I notice, hmm, I need to get gas. So I go to the gas station and I fill her up and then I drive myself to Panera and I work there for an hour or so. And then when I go back to my car, I notice my little gas flap or whatever you call those things is open. And I'm like, huh, weird. So I open it and my gas cap is gone. And then it dawned on me that I must have just driven off with it on my trunk which I have never forgotten to put it back on, like never. Now let me tell you about my car. It is an old car. It's an early 90s car, so you know, like almost 30 years old. So it is not, it does not have all the bells and whistles that most cars have these days, or even, you know, like things we take for granted on today's cars. So when I fill up my gas tank, I have to completely unscrew the cap and then set it somewhere. It does not have the little attachment that goes to your gas tank. So I set it on my trunk usually, but obviously I did not screw it back on. I just left it on my trunk and I drove off. So I hurried back to the gas station. I looked around everywhere, but I did not see it. So I left the parking lot, made a couple turns and there on the side of the road, there it was. I was so very happy. I pulled over and I grabbed it and I took it home and all is well. Now, was this my fault? Yes, of course it was. But on these older cars, I don't know why they didn't think of actually putting a little attachment between the gas cap and your car like they have on all the cars now. And this is not an example that necessarily includes graphic design, it's more product design, but yes, design does matter. It's a design flaw and it's not all my fault. And I stand by that.